Grant, welcome back. I'm not gonna say that you look like you flew a lot, but you look like you flew a lot. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was quite a trip. We had this long discussion about how technology can change cities. Now you've been around the world looking at that very question. Are you feeling more optimistic about that? The cool thing is I saw a lot of really incredible companies, cutting edge technology in Portugal. There's a company called Venium that is using Wi-Fi to create a giant mesh network all around the city. And they're putting it on their buses so that they can expand this network. Why has this got a bigger impact on a city and, and what else can they do with it? What they're really doing is providing data to the city about its infrastructure. All the data that's provided to the city will help them see a lot of aspects of their infrastructure that would otherwise be totally hidden to them. Better data, better information generally, better planning. Where did you go next? Next it was Tokyo to talk to a company called Mirai. And what they're doing is creating an urban farm that is vertical and indoors. So they're addressing the food issue. Do they describe what they're doing as farming or is it something different? It's absolutely farming. It's tall and it's high and there's rows and rows of it, but how does it taste? Actually, it tastes great. Where else did you go? Los Angeles, California. And there's a company there called Dacry. They have an augmented reality system that they're using to address the issues with construction, building buildings in the future. It's an ideal interface to visualize many different things. There's gonna be all kinds of applications for AR that are starting to show up in the world. And Dacry is one example, but we're gonna see a lot more. Technology also has a way of creeping up and just becoming part of our lives. So maybe we're not quite there yet, but um, it seems like we're headed in the right direction. I think I now understand a lot of the core technologies that we're gonna be seeing with our cities of the future. There's more to learn, I imagine. Oh, I think that Mauser and I have plenty more technologies to learn about and plenty more places to go. Well, when you do, come back and uh, let's talk about it. All right, thanks a lot. So that's it for me. I think I'm gonna get some much needed rest. I'd like to thank Mauser Electronics and some of their leading suppliers like Analog Devices, Intel, Microchip Technology, and Molex for making this amazing journey possible.